Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and this one's on the Hoth Wapake from 2010, of course. So we'll start off with the manual, of course, have the Lego Star Wars logos, and that in that blue Captain Rex uh, Clone Wars border that we've had since this time, and through all of 2011, of course, and picture of the set that there is, and set number 8089 on the back, how to win on the online survey. <coughs> then add for some other sets that there were at the time, and then all the features of it, and the pieces that come with the set, of course, and then the last steps. Alright, so now on to the mini things included. First though, we would have Luke Skywalker in his uh, hot attire outfit, and of course wielding the blue lightsaber, of course. And of course this printing, we have seen plenty of times before, but also this version, not at all any blonde hair piece of which, of course. But aside from that, still good for as is. And next to which we which have Zeb sends a car. Yeah, Zeb sends a car. Who of which we which also in this year 2010 we also got in the a uh, Rebel Trooper battle pack, of course. So, uh, which so it's kind of like that thing where where a minifig in a small and a large expensive set in one wave then ends up in a a small battle pack set to the next way, but this of which was like the opposite of that. Kind of interesting how that is, but besides from that, torso, torso print, face printing, all also done quite good. Oh, whoops. And also, both of which, not at all leg printing. Kind of interact, kind of odd, but whatever. And last of which is the classic uh, skeleton piece, but of course, the one with the uh, posable arms instead of the wobbly arms, of course. And on the back of which, as you see, both of which do have back torso printing, but no double-sided faces, of course. So, as for this mini-fig selection, uh, quite fair as is, but I think DAC also could have been included, but yeah. And next to which is the Wampa. And this is one of the only times we have ever gotten this one. Well, only other time we've ever had this one was in the, like, uh, in the, so which, and of course, of course, this of which worth a lot less, of course. And of course, this <laughs> And of also this about the time when they started getting into doing big figs, of course, which they later did with the Hulk and so on. And also Thanos and Dark Side, whatnot. So as for like the fur detailing, oh whoops. Oh whoops. As for the fur as like like sculpted all over him, which really great for that. I see the fridges for his horror in all, and of course can stand on eight studs, but at different positions, of course. And as for the headpiece or head area, which is just molded in, not movable or anything. And of course, nicely painted on there, of course, and of course these horns of which of which are separate pieces just like also used on the tauntauns of course and as for the arms of which also separate pieces and of course 
attached by uh, blue Technic pins, of course, also like the Hulks. But in one arm, which holding a the traditional chicken leg or drumstick piece, of course, and clips in very well. But as for the other hand, which why it's kind of like put flat and whatnot, is so you can actually have him grab a mini thing, of course. There's also kind of also like the Hulk, but except the hands don't turn or anything. And as for a size compared to a minifigure, which around two minifigs tall, of course. So aside from that, it's still quite nice how it is. So hopefully we see him this again in other sets uh, in the future, but yeah. So first off for the builds is the Rebel Snowspeeder. And, uh, and this, I think, probably our uh, fourth or fifth snow speeder that we've ever gotten. And of course, which we've gotten many of over the years, of course. But this one, which is not so much different or kind of similar to the earlier ones. It's like this front area, which does have those classic, uh, classic space blaster bit. Also, kind of, and also with that interesting peak, a slope with a sticker on it, and a couple more, more slopes over here, but with a tile over it, but not have any sticker venting like the other versions. And also some more slopes over here. Break flaps open up, and there's a, another sticker just with some gadget uh, greebling on it. In the back part of which, which does have uh, these little those little pieces used as like uh, jet boosters or something. But the bottom part of which quite vacant, of course, but also with large slopes to help with the shaping of it. Unlike with thin slope or by one slopes used to do so on other versions. And on the back part of which, do have this, there's the classic megaphone piece you put over the greeble of which, or grappling hook. And of course you can just lower this winch and the grappling hook extends out. But which, if you also had the AT-AT -AT or AT-AT walker also from, the, from this time, of course, you can ring around it, of course. And, and of course, do so again and recently again, but with the 2019-20 uh, versions as well, of course. And also 2003-04 versions as well. So at least they kept nailing it like that. And as for this cockpit area, just like all other snow speeder sets and X-Wings also do so. But, and of course, like the others, can flip right open. And enough space to uh, seat too many things right into it, but although for just this set alone, you can sit just one in it, and so you don't get an extra one if it kind of a letdown, but yeah. But as for this jagged slope right here, which as you can see, does have an AT, -AT or at app walker right on it, so, so which good touch there. And of course, enough space to fit a fig into and close over like so. And that is about it with the snow speeder. And now on to the uh, hot wampa cave itself, which, as you can see, uh, quite base. It's kind of simple as is. Just a whole lot of bricks and a few plates and a lot of slopes and a few cheese slopes as well, of course. But like mostly this 
although this interior section is probably the most prominent part of which, but if flipped to the back side of which, I actually quite good for as is. Like you get one of the small ugly rock pieces there representing side of a mountain accord. Also plenty a uh, good or quite good for what it is with all the by one by six by one by two, two by six uh put bricks around. So like but like if this were made nowadays, probably expect a little bit more with like icicles and things. And also, and also another slope around just randomly. And also as for this uh, top part, which which is a, a six by eight uh, plate piece with a few jagged slopes on it. So also not much going on to it, but I think maybe couple more ugly little ugly rock pieces or even a large ugly rock piece is also would have been nice would have been fair enough on it but yeah and also as the box cover shows that the skeleton of which it can be placed anywhere like just randomly or for my choosing I could to just hold on to this little clip right here which I since of course it's just randomly there or like lying around like it's helpless victim that the Wampa previously ate but also over here which do get a quite nice a little build for for like a rib cage of some kind probably a tauntaun one <coughs> and also as for this Oh, which comprise of the classic tooth pieces, but with plates over, and of course they represent icicles. But if this were made nowadays, probably expect the like, uh, like, like little studs that or studs that have the hole in them that you can attach these kind of uh, spike pieces in them. Which I think that would work out if it were made nowadays, of course, but. And of course, the loose studs there is so you can attach Luke onto a course. But although what what I think they what also could be added on is perhaps like a hanging bracket with uh, some white plates around it to hold cover his feet, of course. And also, what this little bit is for is so you can stick the lightsaber in and right onto it and you can just tap on it and flies right off since quite accurate to this scene in the movie for when he uses the force to cut free from it obviously So now on to the final verdict. So overall, oh, uh, hang on. So for my overall work, I think this was a quite good set for uh, for 2010, of course. Like, all the meme fake selection, uh, kind of small and all, but I think, although of course, I think a uh, Dak Trooper or a Snow Trooper also would have been nice for that, but maybe if this were remade, but I think that would have been included, but, and also, so... And of course, we are just used to like many, diff too many different snow speeders, but not sure why I let this be included. Like this whole set at the time was only forty dollars, and the end one snow and then snow speeder set alone in twenty nineteen was also worth forty. So kind of weird how that is, 
but maybe if this were remade nowadays, probably like not half the snow speeder and to probably include extra bit of hot or whatever. Or only could like just not mind this and have the large UCS uh, hot set, assault on hot. Other than that, I think if this were remade nowadays, I think there could have been some other bits added in as well. But like some good improvements to it. Then, yeah. And so now, if you still have this set from back, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still are considering getting this set, you pick it up. And if you're looking to still expand your Hoth displays or Hoth dioramas, also definitely pick this up like ebay bricklink whatever and that's it with this video please like comment and subscribe thanks for watching